Point is the basic object in AutoCAD and the knowledge of plotting point is highly essential for an AutoCAD user. If you want to draw any object in AutoCAD, you have to define points. For example, if you want to draw a line, you have to define a start and end point. If you want to define a circle, you have to define either a center point or two points along its diameter. If you want to create an arc, then you have to define a start point, center point, end point and second point, which are nothing but points. A polygon is made up of a number of lines, which is again made up of points. Now let's take the case of editing. If you want to move an object from one place to another, you have to define a base point and second point. And if you want to rotate an object about a point, you have to define a pivot point. And if you want to perform mirroring, you have to define an axis of symmetry, which is nothing but a line, which is again made up of points. If you want to stretch an object, then you have to define a base point and a second point. If you want to scale an object, then you have to define a base point about which an object has to be scaled. Hence, if you want to perform any task in AutoCAD, the knowledge of plotting point is highly essential. In this video, I exclusively deal with point plotting techniques, point styles and application of points. Before we proceed, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel SabirCAD if you haven't subscribed already and hit the bell icon to get instant updates on my future video uploads. So let's get started. Welcome to the topic on creating points. In this tutorial, you will learn p-type command, plotting points using absolute coordinate method, relative coordinate method, polar coordinate method and application of points. A point in AutoCAD is a node which will act as a place marker to construct so many other objects. A point has got absolutely no size and it can be constructed using variety of options. If you want to make a point, just type PO and enter and make a click on the screen. A point by default is represented like a dot. So I'll right click a repeat point and click to get a dot. Repeat point, one more dot. Likewise, you can plot as many points as you want at required locations. These points are plotted at random locations and this method is not accurate. We also have little difficulty to identify these points because they are represented like dots. So I'll turn off the grid and change the representation of these points using a command that is called DDP type. DDP type stands for dynamic dialog point type. You can choose any representation from this dialog box. Suppose if I click here, your point will have a corresponding representation. But if you click here, the representation changes. You can also change the size of a point and it is specified in terms of the screen size. The default size of a point is 5% of the existing screen size. I'll change the value to 10 and the size of the point is enlarged. I'll give an enter to repeat the same command and I'll change the point size to 5. Now I would like to create these points precisely at predefined coordinate locations. I'll select all these points and click on erase and I'll give limits command. I'll keep the lower left at the origin 0, 0 and I'll set the upper right corner at 120, 60. Now I'll give a zoom all. Now I'll pan the display in the upward direction to see the origin clearly. Now I'll give point command. When I'm asked to specify a point, I'll give X coordinate as 50 and the Y coordinate as 25. Now you can see this point in the new representation. And this point is at precise coordinate location. According to coordinate geometry, X coordinate of this point is its horizontal distance from the y-axis and y-coordinate of this point is its vertical distance from the x-axis. And the reference point is the origin. This type of point entry is called absolute coordinate method. As you are already aware, AutoCAD memorizes the most recently given command which can be repeated by giving an enter. Similarly, AutoCAD also memorizes the most recently defined point. You can get access to this point at any point of time by inputting at the rate before you enter any other point. Let's see an example. I'll give enter to repeat the point command. When I'm asked to give the point, I'll start with at the rate symbol. At the rate will be interpreted by the software as with respect to the last point. Now I'll enter the coordinates. Let it be 30, 20 and enter. 
Now you can see that this point is plotted with respect to the most recently plotted point, which was this point. So this point is at a horizontal distance of 30 units with respect to the most recently plotted point and at a vertical distance of 20 units with respect to the most recently plotted point. And such method of point entry is called relative coordinate method. In this method, you can always refer the most recently plotted point to plot the next point simply by inputting at the rate before the coordinates of the next point. In the next method, we define a point by inputting distance and angle. The distance between the point to be plotted and the reference point, which can be the most recently plotted point, and the angle made by the line joining these two points with the x-axis. This method of point definition is called polar coordinate method. We have provided the same set of parameters while constructing lines using dynamic input method. For a point, dynamic input won't work. So let's try polar coordinates. I'll just zoom out and pan the screen slightly leftwards and I'll give region command. Type RE for region. To see the point in the actual size, then I'll type PO for point. When I am asked to specify a point, I will give at the rate because I want to refer the most recently plotted point. Then I will give a distance, let it be 45 units. Then less than sign, less than indicates the angle. Then I will give 60 and enter. That point is not visible because it must have gone outside the screen. So I will zoom out a bit. Now you can see that this point is at a distance of 45 units with respect to this point and the line joining these two points makes an angle of 60 degree with the horizontal. Polar coordinate method can be either absolute polar or relative polar. Just now we have tried relative polar method because we have used the most recently plotted point as the reference point to plot the next point. The polar method can also be absolute in which you directly enter the distance and angle without starting with that the rate sign. Let's see an example. I'll give PO for point and I'll enter 30 less than 45 and there is no at the rate sign. When you give it, you can see that this point is at a distance of 30 units from the origin and the line joining this point with the origin makes an angle of 45 degree with the x-axis. And such method is called absolute polar method. Where do you use all these points? As I told you before, points will act as place markers in AutoCAD, which can be used as references to create any other object. For example, a surveyor can plot all the data points obtained after a survey and he can draw lines connecting all these points to indicate the land. And these points can also be plotted in 3 dimension. So you can actually create the land in 3 dimension. So let's draw lines connecting these nodes. So let's execute line command and I want to cache these points. For that you have to activate the node option in the object snap. We will see the concept of OSNAP in detail in the coming tutorial. Anyways, I have activated node and I'll draw lines from this point to this point to this point to this point. Hence, we can use points as references to construct contours and profiles. In this tutorial, we have learned p-type command, plotting points using absolute coordinate method, relative coordinate method, polar coordinate method and application of points. In the next tutorial, I'll teach you the procedure to create circles and arcs. Please click on the link provided at the description section of this video to join the WhatsApp group SabirCAD. You know that AutoCAD software has got wide range of applications in the area of engineering, architecture, product design, 3D printing, etc. And this WhatsApp group is a worldwide AutoCAD user group. You can support each other and you can get your queries answered. I can also help you to resolve your queries and enrich your knowledge in CAD. So do join this group by clicking on the link provided at the comment box. I once again request you to subscribe to my YouTube channel Sabir CAD where CAD training is made easy. Also don't forget to visit sabircad.teachable.com wherein AutoCAD 2D 3D is taught from basic to advanced project based. You can also learn 3D visualization using AutoCAD 3D, 3ds Max and Adobe Photoshop in this website. Once you enroll the courses, you will get lifetime account. Means there is no deadline or time limit to complete the courses. You will also get all future updations of lessons for free. You can get all your queries answered through WhatsApp chat and mail.